What is going on everybody? We just finished the Respawnables Ninja event. I'm going to talk to you about the gadgets, the new ninja gear, and of course the fire fists that were awarded in this event. We'll get things started talking about the gadgets. This event brought two new gadgets, the first one being the stun grenade. You could actually buy the stun grenades for $750 for five of them. Keep in mind that is cheaper than spotter. So I expect to see a lot of these being used now that they're out. Also, they do the exact same thing as the MIB Neuralizer, and the Neuralizer costs real money, $3. So nobody's going to be using the Neuralizers anymore. The Neuralizer, you had to have guys really close to you. With the stun grenade, you could throw it, huck it across at a guy and hit him, and then he gets the question marks, he gets all disoriented, and he can't shoot, and you can come up and just cap him right in the skull. One thing you do need to be careful about with the stun grenade is if it blasts on you, you will also be stunned and get disoriented. So you need to make sure you're far enough away from the blast radius when you throw it. Pretty fun gadget and one that I'll be using all the try-hard thumpers and cricket users out there to give them a little taste of their own medicine. Next up, we have the Ninja Bomb. I have to say, Ninja Bomb has got to be one of the coolest animations in the game. You go, you throw it up, and you vanish in a poof of smoke and then you reappear in another poof of smoke. This one costs real money, even though it looks awesome and the animation is cool. The stealth gadget, which does the same thing, makes you invisible, costs gold. So if you have gold, I'd go for the stealth gadget. Honestly, I think going invisible is kind of a lame thing to do in the game, but I must say the ninja bomb just looks rad. Now, just as I talk about how it's kind of lame to go invisible in the game, we're going to talk about the cyber ninja gear. This clothing is kind of overpowered. When you think about a ninja, what can a ninja do? They can go invisible. They can stay hidden from the enemy. Well, that's exactly what this clothing does. The head works like spotter. When you're standing still, all the enemy's positions are revealed. And I just confirmed the event is over, the clothing is still working. It still is revealing people's positions. So when you stand still, you basically have permanent spotter. Now the body you can wear is where things start to get really interesting. If you're somebody who spent a lot of gold on the stealth gadget, you know, just like the previous clips, once I started firing when I was invisible, my identity was revealed. The body you can wear with the ninja bundle you stay invisible even while shooting. Do you know how overpowered that is? Just like this clip I'm showing you, I'm standing here firing away, guys can't see me, all they see is bullets just firing at them and I'm completely invisible. So overpowered. And to make things even better, the legs reduce the cooldown period for using gadget by 25%. So you can use spotter that much longer, you can stay invisible that much longer before having to use another gadget. This is a way for those of you who are running through spotters all the time, wear the legs, you will be able to use spotters and last longer without having to continually using that gadget over and over. So what these clips are showing you is how overpowered it is. I'm invisible, I can see where everybody is, and my gadgets are lasting longer. Not even a challenge. And then you throw Cricket or Thumper in the mix and you got the most overpowered combo ever known to man. Oh, and I almost forgot, the legs give you plus 7% agility, and the body and head both give you plus 10% health. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the Fire Fist. This weapon looks pretty rad. It's basically the Plasma Punch on steroids. Same amount of rounds as Plasma Punch. You run around with it basically attached to your right hand, just like the Plasma Punch, but it is much more powerful. I felt like... I could kill guys much more quickly with this than when I used to use the plasma punch back in the day. And the range is really good as well. So much more powerful. Has this kind of exploding fireball that comes out. And right here, I'm still using the Cyber Ninja. This is actually the first time I had used the Fire Fist and I just wanted to try it out before going visible. Now we're gonna take this thing live in action. Check out how cool that animation is though. Those exploding fireballs shooting out. And also pay attention to the massive range, killing that guy way across the map and coming back here and killing this guy way across the map. Now the tip with the Fire Fist should be pretty self-explanatory. Notice every time I'm shooting, I'm shooting at the feet. Shoot at the feet or if they're against a wall, shoot against the wall. 
really hard to hit guys head on with it. So what you want to do is take advantage of the exploding power. Notice right there I didn't even have to hit the guy head on and I still took him out. Watch me just rain down fire on this guy. Looks so cool with the streaking fireballs coming across the map. One great thing about the fire pistol is your agility stays way up there. You move at a similar speed as if you were using blunderbuss. So I really like that. You can move around the map quickly. I really, really like this weapon. I think it's a fun weapon. It doesn't compete with a lot of the overpowered weapons. You will get owned by the overpowered weapons. But if people are playing fair and using just the standard weapons, you could really hold your own with this. Did you see how far that shot was ricocheting off that turret on the top of that hill? killing that guy way across the map. Now I've been playing this game quite a bit the past few days when the event just ended and I haven't seen but one guy using the fire fist. Let me know in the comments why is that? I don't quite understand it. The weapon seems pretty good to me but nobody's using it. Also let me know in the comments what part of the ninja clothing are you going to be using? Is it the head? Or are you going to be using the legs? What part of the ninja clothing goes with your style of play? Thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this ninja event as much as I did. Take care. See ya in the next one.